The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento with the afternoon update. Uh, we have uh, read everywhere in the stock market, Dow Jones, NASDAQ, S&P, and also the Russell. Treasury bonds, treasury notes are still very strong, flight to quality, and also flight to quality in uh, the metals market, especially in gold and silver. Gold hit a uh, intermediate high uh, yesterday at uh, 2081, uh, backed off about 60 bucks last night. And then it's come roaring back, uh, trading around 2050 right now. Silver's acting a little weaker, but still close to $26 uh, a barrel. Uh, well, oh, let's try that as per ounce. And uh, that's uh, another major one that is uh, very, very important. The only grain that is up uh, is the uh, wheat market. Actually, the soybeans actually turned green here uh, for just a minute. So there is a little bit of health there. And then, of course, the crude oil, after dropping... A uh, total of about 20 some dollars over the last couple of weeks. You know, we have seen a pretty big rally. It got as low as, believe it or not, folks, $64 a barrel. In a down tick, it went from 67 to 64, back to 67 in a period of three minutes. I don't know how they explain that, but that's what it says on the charts and that's what it says on the open interest. So, by golly, you got to pay attention to it. But Son of a gun, that's a heck of a move. And we went all the way up from 64. We rallied $5 a barrel yesterday, and that's all we've done. We got up as high as $69 a barrel. That puts us in the range of where we were uh, last Wednesday and Thursday. But with all that volatility, one has to act, ask what happened at that point. And hopefully tomorrow we'll have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics, who especially happens to be that, will Give us that because he's certainly been bearish and he'll be our guest uh, next week, uh, tomorrow, let's put it that way. Uh, both both shows uh, in the morning, uh, the 1 o'clock show and the 2 o'clock show. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. 